My friends, welcome back. We are playing EU4. Uh, it's actually a new day. Uh, I wasn't having a lot of time last time. Um, let's see what we could do. So, I've been looking at my merchant. And we are transferring 1.66 to uh, Reinhardt. But that makes no sense. Why? Why am I actually doing this? We can collect 2.5 over here. So, we might as well just collect 2.5 over there. Also, you... We are earning 1.82 over here. Cost is belly, that is not a big problem. So we'll actually make more money now than we were currently doing. Um, do we want to improve relations? East Frisia, England, Galra and Utrecht. What will it cost us? Because we now trade note is plus 5. So we'll gain a bit more power. But we could also just uh, increase the relations. As for Reinhardt... Yeah, this is just gorgeous. I think for one of the missions, we actually need to get the most. And by the looks of it, we are currently not. Yeah, we need a lot more, actually. So that, that ain't happening anytime soon. So I'm gr glad that I just uh, found that out. Um, in terms of colonialism, we are going to wait a tiny bit longer. We now can make a very healthy profit and we can actually make it even better if we stop drilling these guys. We got a very nice general, we already had 20%, we might as well stop drilling those armies and we're about, there we go, almost 5 per month we are making and we're going to be building up. Now we have some provincial unrest which is annoying but not something we can do something about uh, we've lost the insult against Saxony which is fine um, let's see we have a military axis with Tier yeah that makes zero sense what are my diplomats doing let's take a look threatening country outrage and neighbors uh, let's get one of you back uh, we're going to be breaking the military axis with him. And let's take a look. Can we do you? Please. Yeah, you would. I want to get Denmark. Uh, the reason for it is Denmark and Burgundy are not on, uh, on good terms. And he would be amazing. You'll have to wait a day until you can send. I've been waiting several days now. Could we, um... Could you just stop this? You would accept. I can offer all of it. Why can I not do this? Anyone? Anyone know why we can't do this? <laughs> because I don't know. I seriously don't. Are you at war? No, you're not. Seriously, don't have a clue why we cannot declare this. Must wait a day. Let's call you back. Hopefully you uh, you will be more um, interactive with Denmark. No. Are we having a bit of a bug here? Uh, let's call you back on him. And pull one on uh, on alliances then. This is so weird. You have no diplomats. Was wait a day. Hmm. Okay. Uh, save game as 30. Let's load the game. Let's see if that fixes something. No, we still must wait a day. Wait a day until you can send another offer. Seriously, I, I have no clue. What the hell? Immoral prices. Um, lose money, but gain with the, um, the the burgers. Have peasants uprising or lose loyalty with the burgers. I kind of don't want to spend my points on that. Um, we're building up nicely. So if we just wait here for one more tick. We can just pay them off. 
And we'll even gain more monies from that in the long run. Let's take a look. 24 of 24. What can we do with our vessel? Negative 13. I would like you to divert trade. Would that actually... Uh, is diverting trade? How much trade do you have? You are making 62 of trade. And the military coalition is finally dying out. Sweet. That is precisely what I would like. So we're still building up against Galra. And I think it's Galra. No, it's Cleves. Sorry. Uh, we're building up against Cleves. Uh, let's take that. But you're allied to a lot of peoples. Let's pull you back. Let's see who you are allied with. If we declared you, all of these would join. Especially Burgundy. Burgundy just hates me. Um, I kind of want to start building up against Burgundy. If that is um, an idea. I have an idea. Let's take another look here. Can we, we cannot. St we still cannot offer an alliance to them. Why? Can we improve relations for a second? Okay, finally. There, there's a time now. So, until the 24th, we are unable to do anything. Must wait a day until you send another offer. I cannot remember what offer I sent. Uh, let's gain the inflation four points. Okay, how far are we? What is the um, technology doing? Plus 10. Okay, so we're getting close that we should do this. Uh, Ulm has left. Good. Hey, that's, that's really nice. The coalition is, uh, is dying. It is almost gone. That really makes me happy. The next month you'll see a lot of these countries like disappearing. I hope. A call diplomat. Okay, we're not see them disappearing. Well, whatever. Fine, have it your way. Make, make me look bad. <laughs> Offer an alliance. There we go. Um, Denmark's now in an alliance with us. How are we with our... I think Paul Morania is not going to be a valid rival long. You're allied with Mecklenburg and Lundberg. What would happen? Let's wait until our diplomat's back. So, what is my... Exp okay, so negative 14. That's not the baddest. It's not the best. Not the baddest. Um... 12k troops. If I were to declare. On you. And I don't think I have... Oh, well, we have claims. Denmark would join at the promise of territory. Oldenburg would join because he's my ally. So that's 6k. Saxony with his 1k troop would join. Lundberg. Oh yeah, Berg. Because I can't make those... Um, with signs, so 7k and Mecklenburg, and that's 8k, so 7 and 8, and Pomerania, that's my rival I think, it's 12, so that's uh, 27k troops, and we have 26, well we, we, we should be able to do this, Mecklenburg is over here, and I think Mecklenburg, yeah that's over here, so we don't necessarily have to start dealing with his troops, we can knock these armies out. And we can just focus on uh, Pomerania. He is my rival. We could probably maybe like, show strength. But I'm actually more interested in taking your monies. And why the monies? Well, quite simple. This is why. Actually, we could probably do this. Do we need to do this right now? We are not kept out. Uh, we're not losing out on too much. Ah. <sighs> Decisions, guys. Decisions have to be made. We declare we don't have any claim upon you, right? Truce. I don't want to break a truce. Are we having a truce with Paul Morania? We have a truce with uh, TF for breaking that alliance. Actually, you did. You broke the alliance. Don't don't make it. Don't point it on me. <laughs> I 
kind of want to war. I feel like warring. And uniting my country, because we are not able to get in there. What would happen? And Austria is not willing. He is the HRE. So he won't be joining. Doesn't owe... Wait, you don't have... Let's see. We're building up to a year. So in a year time, he would join us. Um, would Denmark join in a few years time? We could potentially do our best against Burgundy. I want a coastal region. That's all I'm interested in, the coastal region. However, that would also do... Well, it, it will bring us uh, problems with England. But England has its own problems, look at that. 30k. So, the Reformation War is about to start there. Hey, it's not my problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. Local provincial trade power in Galra. I should start building up. So, if I were to declare on you, not looking at Austria at the moment, Burgundy Tier. Austria would join in two years, and Denmark, how much do you build up in terms of favors? Two favors a year. So, in five years' time, he would join against Burgundy. How about Castile? Castile would join. Just for favors. Just because he hates him. Austria would join against Burgundy. The Papal States. Venice. This would be like a complete European war. Man, there's so many options. But first things first. Guys, I want to make this country. No, we can't do you. Declaring war against you would put me in Denmark. He still has 14 reasons to go against me. Uh, but Denmark is very much in debt. Um, the manpower is negative 4. Attitude towards the enemy is 9. So he is actually not on the best of terms with him. He is actually very close. So can we build... He desires Groningen. Can we improve relations with him? Not really. Not really. That's unfortunate. So let's build up some more on capital and cash. And soon we can take all of this. I stop trying to improve. Let's take another look once you're back. So it was <clears throat> negative 14. It's still negative 14. Uh, East Frisia is just 7. We can probably knock him out right away. Uh, Oldenburg would join. And we just have to deal with the Danish troops. That are 26. Also, his navy is a bit of a thing. And not to forget, Sweden will be entering against us. And I keep forgetting him. His liberty desire is quite high. We cannot help him with that, I think. Supporting independence. Cologne cannot reach Denmark. So we would need to get military access at least until we get to Denmark. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see how that will go. Um, Pomerania itself is still interesting because there's not much joining. Oldenburg would call in just because we have enough. And Denmark would be joining at the problems of territory. And I don't need him to get more territory. Getting money. Getting money. What is more important? First things first. We need to make sure that we get up with our technology again. So probably getting loans. Um, this would also affect the amount of men we can take. Due to the ideas. Because we can actually finish these off. 10 and 10. 388. Um, let's take a look here. 
Yeah, that still is going to take a while. We're going to be loaning up. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Loan up. There you go. Uh, there you go. And we'll take... The embracing. There we go. And now we can get the wolf done. We can get the muskets done. We could already go for another one. But I don't really need to. Because I would like to finish this and that. Um, yeah, we can get the yearly inflation reduction as well. Now, what this did is increasing our manpower modification. So, we can do this. We can get more infantry. And get a few more cannons. We have two good sized armies. 30k would bring us much closer to some of the, um, the power that we're lacking. Let's see. No, 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 no. This guy is still free. You're not my rival, are you? Who are my rivals? We have a open slot. I think there's just one, one, one logical action, and that's just doing Burgundy. And I think we therefore should be building up our spy network against him. Because I, I, I desire this. I desire this territory. And the reason why Burgundy is... Burgundy is hated by Denmark. Castile. And I think... Yes, Austria as well. All of my allies would rally to the cause. And if we can just get rid of Burgundy... I would feel so much safer. Although then the next problem is England. England has rebel issues by the looks of it. Although I think he might just dealt with those. Did our naval capacity join this one? No, that's that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Do we want to build up on armies or pay off loans? Let's get the textile manufacturing at negative 10 national decision uh, missionary strength doesn't provide us with anything else so we can just take it i don't want this and uh, we're very close to just taking these two other provinces how much does denmark like you still he's idle so he's now free Nah, 17. Attitude towards enemies. I'm very tempted though. I don't want to break my alliance with Denmark. If we can get him. What's this? The nation of Austria are, has uh, declared our conquest against uh, Bosnia. And he's allied with Siberia, Wurttemberg, and Venice. I, I will accept. I will accept. And this time I will participate. Because we need this. Um, let's call yes. We are honoring the call. Let us make sure that... Uh, wow, we're losing... Um, wow, that's a lot of army maintenance, guys. So, our enemies are over here. We could mothball our forts. Yeah, it's it's basically over here. We can knock this guy out. With our armies. Actually, I think the Palinates are going to do that. Let's mothball the forts. At least we uh, won't lose as much. And... Yeah, we need to repay those loans. Hopefully we'll gain some more money. Uh, we're going to be sending our troops. Where are your armies? Go there. This is one of those enemies, right? 
No, actually this one is already being sieged down. So let's start sending you towards these fortresses. And this time I want to participate in the battles. The more we participate, the more cash we'll get. That's a fort. There's two forts over here. I'll actually... We'll start dealing with this. Bosnia, Austria can deal with. So let's slowly go there. He will deal with that. We can actually look for that one army. Uh, before he's over there. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's start sending you there. Venice is pulling back trips. Local trade power. We're still losing monies. He should get rid of that fort. Okay, so you go here. Level 3 and a level 1. You go there. And I want to participate this time. Frankfurt has declined. That's not good for Frankfurt. Because that could piss off the, um, the Emperor. So, okay, my troops are in. And he is fighting Castile here. Well, Castile will definitely... Start sending in more troops. Where are your troops, Castile? Because we have to take good care of this. Because there is uh, 17k troops. Hopefully we're going to be the very first one to be there. We are. Are we going to be bombarding this? I think we do. Can we bombard over here? Yes, and let's do that. Are you going to be... Yeah, that's just gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Just keep doing that. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. They are still not moving. We're actually making money now because we are raiding over here. And this participation is going to be fantastic. We're now on 7 and we will climb. And the more we climb, the more money we'll get. But that's for the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Goodbye. <laughs>